Hi guys, John here from Optics Warehouse. So, following on from a previous video we've done before where we compared some spotting scopes, um, that was done at 100 yards. We couldn't get much further than that because of the conditions. So, today we're going to be testing two very similar magnification spotting scopes, one being the Hawk Vantage 20 to 60 by 60 and the Athlon Argos 20 to 60 by 85. And what we're going to be doing, we're just going to have a little chat about them now, show you the features of them. And then after that, we're going to have a little view going through 50, 100, 500 and 1,000 yards, just to give you a little bit of an image quality to see what it's like and what to expect from your money. So let's start. We're going to start with this Hawk Vantage here. Now, what this does come with, which is real nice packaging, they come with a nice solid box, as you can see here. And this is all within the price bracket of around about 150 quid retail. So it's really nicely presented. You've got the bag in there as well. And another part that the Hawk Vantage comes with, I'll just pop that one on there, is a nice little neat lightweight tripod. So obviously with that one, just makes that a little bit easier to put it out, get everything working on there. And once again, you don't have to have any more expenditure. It's something that comes with it. So just going to pop that one back there. Let's move on to the important part though. Obviously we're here to look at the scopes. Just normal rubber eye cap, an objective just to protect the lens got your sliding sunshade there obviously that's just there to take a bit of glare off the lens they are a bit loose a bit wobbly and they just don't feel particularly well made but it, all it's there for is just to take that glare off the lens that's no more no less than that focus on this you've got your parallax setting here so really easy to use there just by the center of where the tripod attaches so you're not going to be moving it across when you're trying to adjust that through really smooth and easy to turn as well so you're not going to be wobbling with the image quality again as i say trying to keep on target and focus that if it was really stiff then you end up with the whole thing wobbling and you wouldn't be able to get that crystal clear image so moving back from there you've got your 20 to 60 magnification eyepiece obviously that is a little stiffer to turn but once you've got that set once again everything is then nice and easy to use adjustment cup there for obviously getting the perfect eye relief from there nice and solid on that as you twist it around it's got the locking sections and you are not going to end up setting it and then pushing it with your eye off it will lock and will stay there the weight of this it is quite a light unit it's there's doesn't feel like there's much going on in there or much to it that's because there isn't too much um, lenses in here so although that will help with getting light transmission through you're not going to get that crystal clear image quality because obviously you're going to get glaring coming through the scope anyway and that's going to bounce around and just take a take a bit of the image quality away from that i'm going to move down here so obviously this is the fitment for your tripod you've got your standard threaded adapter for use for any tripod uh, rubber base on there as well so it just not once again makes that nice and solid and stops it moving and sliding around so now we're going to go on to the Athlon. so it's a hell of a bigger unit on this one it's a lot heavier you can tell the build quality is there but it is just over twice the price and you don't get any of the fancy box or tripod what you do get is just a um, neoprene type case there that's soft padded so it does protect it really well and the box itself is foam lined so for shipping it's really well protected but it just doesn't have that nice feature like the hawk does for when you're transporting it to and from the range and make it look that bit more expensive right moving to the body of this obviously once again this has got the rubber lens caps on it so that one's just a snap-in one at the front, so quite a nice feature there, stops any dust getting in there completely. And the rear one is just your standard rubber cup that sits on the end. Same idea with the sunshade on that sliding forwards. You can tell this is a bit better quality. It's not so loose, it's not so um, wobbly on there. It's just nice friction fit and sits quite nicely there. Moving back, we've got the focus. Obviously, as so this one, it's nice and easy to turn there and it's just stuck on the end. This has got the whole barrel that focuses there. So you're not having to use a little finger, you can grip that and really nice, positive, accurate adjustments because you've got that huge diameter around the scope. You can just really finely tune that in and get the image quality you're looking for. So where this fits onto your tripod, obviously you've got your standard threaded adapter there, but you've also got the Arca Swiss mount on there. So that allows you to fit it to a multiple different tripods. And as I say, it's a very, very secure fitment. With that as well, if I just loosen that there, if you're not happy with having the eyepiece at a 45 degree angle and you want to tilt it slightly, you loosen that one, that mount stays still and you can twist the 
spotting scope to whatever feels comfortable for you. So a really nice feature there as well, especially if your tripod or attachment you're going to be fitting it to is slightly on the lean. That then allows you to recenter that very quickly and very easily just to get it all nice and level. So moving back from there, obviously as you can see on this, the eyepiece is a lot larger than the Hawk. That then allows for a nice, bright, large image coming through and obviously very, very easy to turn your magnification at the back from your 20 to 60. Really is nice and smooth and easy to turn there. So that sums up the exterior of these. Now what we can do, as I said, we're going to put uh, phone cameras on and that's using these adapters here from Optisan, one that fits each model. We're going to pop the phone on and as I say, we're going to do some 50, 100, 500 and a thousand yard images for it and just see what the focus is like and how fast it snaps in and out. So let's move on to that. So guys, just looking through the Hawk Vantage now, I'm just going to clear that image up for you. Obviously this is at 50 meters and once again at full 60 times magnification on this one. So with that image, what you're looking at there, you're looking at 2.2 two and 2.5 caliber holes in that paper. So obviously it gives you a good idea of the size and detail for what you can see. So we're now moving up to the 100 meters now. Obviously through this image, you've got that fence post up there with the barbed wire coming across the top from there. And as I'm focusing the image now, you can see for the price of this unit being 150 pound retail with all the extras that you get in the box, the image quality is surprisingly good on that. Obviously with the barbed wire, you can just about tell where you've got the uh, spikes coming up from that. So as I say, it's a quite a bit of detail for that distance. So guys, moving out to the 500 meters now, as I said, this is the Hawk Vantage at 60 times magnification. So if you look at that gloss black sheeting up there over the hay bales, you can see there's quite a lot of purple hue and aberration to that. That's because the glass quality isn't quite up there with the HD coatings and extra low dispersion glass. So obviously that does affect the image a bit up there, but you still get a good amount of detail. And it is, as I say, perfectly usable for that price bracket that you're looking at. So this is the final test for the Hawk Vantage. This is a thousand meters. And what you're looking at there, you're looking at a gate post and the, the gate, and obviously to the right of that, you've got a wired fence. Obviously, as I say, this is a thousand meters. And as you can see, once that image focuses in, you can just see you've got a few strings of wire going across. Very difficult to see any detail on that wire. And you'll see what I mean when we start looking through the Athlon on the next test coming up. You'll just be able to take that bit more detail of what's up there. But if you look, that's plenty usable for most situations at a thousand meters, especially as I say, for that budget of 150 pound. So guys, we've now moved on to the Athlon Argos HD 20 to 60. Obviously once again, same as the Hawk, we're starting at 50 meters. So the image there for me is brighter, crisper. You can really see them indentations or holes in the paper from the 2.2 and 2.5 caliber pellets there. So guys, moved up to the same post at 100 meters now. Obviously, as you can see, the image is a hell of a lot brighter through the Athlon at that range. The colours are a lot brighter, a lot more vibrant. And obviously, the detail on that fence is, obviously, you see, there is more colour to it. You can see the finer detail on the post itself. And obviously, the barbed wire fence, once again, you can really see where the spines are on that. So it's, once again, much better quality on the image throughout than the Vantage so far. So let's move on to the 500. So guys, once again, it's Athlon Argos 20 to 60 on the full magnification up at 500 meters now. Using the same background as we used for the uh, Vantage, just so it gives you a good idea of it. You've not got any color aberration around the edges. It's a really nice crystal image on that. Obviously you can see all the detail of that black plastic wrapping, almost all the parts where it's wrapped around the edges of the hay. And it just gives you the detail and the depth of perception on there to give you the shapes of that. So obviously you can see uh, the grass in front of it as well. Each stem of that, you can see every individual stem of grass in front of the um, hay bales there. So guys, this is the final test for the Athlon 20 to 60. We've now moved up to the thousand meters again. Obviously the same gate post there. Obviously the gate and the wire fencing to the right of that. So just gonna really focus that in now. As you can see on there, you can see every individual square of the fence coming along. 
obviously all the posts you could even see the grain in the wood still from even from this distance the grass that's a little bit harder to tell you can't see the individual parts there but obviously every part of that image there is more than usable for a thousand meters and once again this is on the full 60 times magnification it just is a nice bright clear image at that range and with plenty of detail as well so obviously now we've finished with that obviously you can see for yourselves what uh, spotting scope here gives the best image quality for me personally it's hands down on the Athlon but obviously the Hawk for the price is hard to ignore at sub 150 pounds retail obviously it's a really well thought out package and gives you everything you need but obviously if you are looking for that bit better image quality and you want we want to see where your extra bit of money's gone and, and get that fine edge on there it's going to be the Athlon and that is the winner today for me so anything you'd like to know please feel free to email us give us a call or drop us a comment below and thanks for watching